When you're asked to find an equation of a line, which we are here, the important first thing to remember is this little equation formula here, y equals mx plus c. Now this gives you two things you've got to find, m and c. Once you find those things, you've answered the question. Now, the c is the easier of the two to find. The c represents where your line will hit the y-axis. So go down this line here and find out where the line crosses it, which is here. So it's at minus 2. So already I can say y equals mx and then plus minus 2, which just makes minus 2. So brilliant, I'm halfway there. Now the m is a little bit more complicated. For the m, you need to first of all find two points on that line that you know the coordinates to. Basically, if you can find out where the line crosses the um, grid lines, those are the best two to pick. Now, this y-intercept here is a perfect one to use. Going up the line, there really isn't any other coordinates. I definitely I, this one here. I kind of know it. It looks like about two thirds, but I don't know it for sure. So I keep going, and this one here, that's perfect. That one here, I know exactly what that is. That is three two. Okay, then you draw a little triangle between those two points. So I'm going to draw that little triangle. And find out how much y and x have changed. So y has changed uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 squares. So y has changed 4 squares. And x has changed 1, 2, 3. So 3 squares. And then the gradient is... So let's just write this down. The gradient... Is the change oh, is the change in y over the change in x? So I said that y changed four, and x changed three. So it's four over three. So we can then put that in. Y equals four over three, x minus two. Now you could write that as one and a third as well. So four thirds x minus two. Now notice here that it is change in y over change in x. The most common mistake with this is to make it 3 over 4, but it's always changing y first with the gradient.